Hello and welcome. In today's video I have a haul for you and I will tell you that much. This is a kind of sneak preview since I am planning to use some of these die sets and stamp sets in upcoming videos. The first die set I am showing you is this number die set and I won't give you any measurements. I just show you how the die cuts look on an index card since an index card is usually the size I am using for card making so you get an idea how your die cuts look on your card and here you can see the negative die cut and as you can see the little tiny pieces are not so tiny so that you can replace them in your negative die cut This next die set you saw me already using in a previous video, but I want to show you the whole set and how they cut out. And again here you have the negative cut out. My next die set are these birthday dies and they look like this. Now I have a hard doily die set which consists of three dies. And the large die is also cutting out the center so that you end up having three different sizes of hard cutouts. But the smaller dies are stitched and the cutout from the center is not stitched and they look like this. Now I have a window die set which consists of three d different windows, a flower pot and a little cat. And the cutouts look like this. This round window, when you cut it out properly, it will open up like this. And here is the little flower pot, which could be added to any window, like this maybe. And here is the little cat. And again I am showing you a die set, which I have used in a previous video, but since I haven't used all the dies in my cart, I want to show you the whole set and how the die cuts look like. This heart would be a leftover when you cut out this carriage and here you have the little bow which you saw me using in other videos already. Before I will show you my last two dies, let me talk about measurements. I already made a video in which I've created cards using this die set and I told you already how disappointed I was about this size. So I strongly recommend before you order any dies, make sure you are aware about how small or how large your dies are, even though you should watch out for your embossing folders. Here you have normal sized embossing folders. They measure about 10 centimeters by 14 centimeters, but there are also smaller die, smaller embossing folders which measure about only half that size. So I again got quite disappointed because it didn't cross my mind that there would be so small embossing folders but uh, we can make any use of it also with this die I was surprised how large it was when you see it on an index card it will almost cover the whole front of your card This last die set ranges between quite large, you see the largest die is larger than the index card, till 
very itsy bitsy tiny you will see the smallest die measures about half a centimeter so now let me show you the cutouts here you have the largest one again it won't fit your uh, card front this is the second largest and so on and once more here you can see the last one very tiny about five millimeters now I show you once more every cut out separately and I think this middle sized two dies would make some beautiful flowers Before I will show you my stem sets, let me show you what I am doing when I first get my stem sets. There are two pieces of acetate separately and I adhere them using some tape so I can easily open up my stem set. Then I am stamping the whole stem set on a fitting piece of paper and I am storing the two together so I can always see what the images look like. So and here we have our first stem set for today and I have already put an index card beneath so you can get an idea how large the images are. Here we have a sentiment which says time is a great storyteller, a crown, an alarm clock, a butterfly and a f the next stem set is about the same size and it says love to you sweet to sweet hugs and kisses and as you can see there are some parts of the stem they won't stamp properly as the plate of the cup and here the center of the little butt but I think it's still a beautiful stem set and I think the two stem sets are not only for card making I think they could be used for art journaling or mixed media as well. And here I have a letter stamp set and again here you can see how the stamps will look like. And here is my next stem set, which I think would also make great use for mixed media art or art journaling. And again I put an index card beneath so you can imagine the size. And now look at this stem set, isn't this adorable? I love this one, look at this cute images. For this one I didn't add an index card since it is larger than an index card. The whole set measures 18 by 14 centimeters which makes about 7 and 1 8 by 5 and a half inch. And last but not least I have another cute stamp set to share with you. And look at all those cute cats and dogs. Aren't they adorable? So this was it for today. I hope this video was useful to you. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to check on my card making videos. Thanks for watching. I hope I see you soon. Have a nice day. Bye.